In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? You should know by now. Say it with me, because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Huge cliffhanger. Just when we thought we're going to die by Skuna's fanboy boyfriend. Fanboy made in ghetto, not ghetto. Yes. Get rid of the monkeys. If there's no monkeys, there's no more negative emotions for curses to exist on. Just have cleansed them all. It's that simple. Ghetto is right, bro. He, we should just do this. Yeah, get rid of the monkeys. Freeing itself from cursed energy. No more cursed energy? Interesting. Also, what is that floating thing that's always around there? It must be her curse technique. When Toji died... Because Toji was another experiment that... Because of the Heavenly Pact and stuff, he was one of the unique people that could have, like, uh, been used to pursue her ideology, right? But unfortunately, it wasn't happening. But Ghetto, though... Okay. Oh, well, she knows that Ghetto's not there. Oh, uh, wh wh where is his name right now? It, don't we have... Let's, Yuta is somewhere else training with... Uh, fuck. What's his name? It's not Enrique. Oh man, I'm gonna be called a racist for this. I'm sorry, guys. Miguel! Miguel! What? Uzumaki! It's, it's over. He... Yeah, it's over. He ate that shit. On the ground? Because I've seen it used on human beings and they've transformed, but on the ground? What is it? Remote activation of a cursed technique. I don't really understand the significance of this. Let him explain. Joe Goat! My favorite! Okay. He already marked them. Non-sorcerers. Who are they? Just random people? Sumiki Fushiguro. Mom? Sister? Sister? Non-human. Marked. Sisters marked? That's the same mark. Oh. <laughs> They're really gonna show Junpei in the fucking season finale. This is fucked up, dude. Adjusted their brains. This dude is straight up talking like he's fucking Aizen. Like, this is all part of the plan. I've basically, from a long time ago, pretty much determined how you were going to be born, how you were going to be structured. All of you were just in my plan. You are just fucking just in the palm of my hand. That's the way that he's talking right now. Huh? Release the seal on those cursed objects. That's fucked. Oh, she's about to fucking wake up. So Fushiguro's sister was in a permanent slumber because of not ghetto. That's fucked up. She's waking. And what happens when they awaken, though? Kill each other. Oh. A thousand malevolent Yuji Itadori? What? I don't know. That's his assumption. Would people just start doing that? There's an order? He can order them to do it. <laughs> a little bit of an insult, but it's alright. <laughs> yeah. I do love it when Jujutsu Kaisen start, you know, it's not a chibi moment, but you know how the characters start making funny faces like that. You know what this shit is? This is just to make you fucking let your guard down for the fucking uh, depression that's about to happen. Okay, the ice is gone. Skuna's fanboy made. Too much energy released. Too much energy used, yeah? Poison? Oh, We're actually depending on Mai at this rate. Come on, bro. Of all the characters that kill, the kill two squad are all dookie. Mai especially mega dookie. Fuck the guns. And I hear you guys in the comments say, I, I made a comment. Guns never fucking work, work in anime. And you guys were like, actually, Toji Fushiguro did it, bro. Toji shot, she, he, he did the sucker punch equivalent of shooting that fucking vessel. She was a regular human. Yeah, she was Tengen's vessel, blah, blah, blah. She was a regular fucking middle school student. She had no idea what the fuck was happening. Toji sucker punched her. She, he fucking shot her. That doesn't fucking count, bro. My, she ain't gonna do shit. You, you think Mai's gonna fucking show up with a sniper gun and fucking save the day? Let's get fucking real, bro. Suit guy? 
<laughs> Su if I was Suka, I'd be just like, I want to go home. I'm not going to move. I'm going to act like I'm dead. This piano soundtrack I'm hearing right now is the first time I'm hearing this. This is fucking sick. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. The cursed objects that I distributed are what left the sorcerer that I've been making a pact for how many years? Secretly making pact for thousands. Like, bro is literally just like God. Everything that exists in this show, everything that's been done, it's like even like the birth of Yutadori, Itadori Yuji, the fact that he takes on Skuna's like, fingers, the way that Choso's the brother, bro literally planned all of this. Who is Yuji's mom? Think about it. We've never seen Yuji's dad or mom. We've only seen fucking grandpa and he just fucking goes away. And in shonen shows, usually the main character's parents are never really shown because they want to show like the mom or the dad or some OP character that shows up later. But like, did bro literally fuck Yuji's mom? Or did bro, I don't know, Choso is an actual blood-related brother somehow. Somehow, we share a similar blood. I don't know exactly how that happened, but not ghetto has been fucking around. He's just been making packs. He's been fucking impregnating thousands of women across thousands of years. I don't know. Normal humans, he's just been marking them. Like, what? Annulled. So when he got into ghetto, all that was kind of clear? This is actually endgame boss material. Woo! They're looking like hollows from Bleach. Damn. The soundtrack is also going fucking crazy. This is the first time I've heard this. <laughs> My bro Sukai thought that if he played dead, maybe we can, you know, finish off the finale. He doesn't die. We can go home after and we call it on rap for the Shibuya incident. But bro is like, fuck. God fucking damn it! I can't play dead now! The shit's coming from underneath! Fuck! Suka, you better get up. <laughs> Shit. God damn it, I gotta work! Don't worry, we have big bro Choso here with us. Isn't that the seal that Gojo Satoru is in? Where you're going? Don't leave! Gojo Sensei! He just leaves with Gojo? A declaration, the Skuna. The world of hand, golden age. Let the piano fucking go off. Wow. I want to play that again, but what the fuck was that? This is just like, so I guess this is the end of the Shibu arc. Geto just disappears to, you know, Gojo's in the seal. He leaves off us with a bunch of cursed dudes that we're going to defeat. And that's pretty much it. Look at the way that he's looking. I'm sure this is an iconic panel from the manga. Bro, he's got the seal right there, but the seal has its like, eyes and it's like staring down. And look at the way Geto's giving the side eye like that too. Stuff like this. It's, it's just some aesthetic stuff, right? Skuna. Ooh. The age of Heian. Golden age of Jujutsu. What happened back then, the golden age of Jujutsu? This is like the ideals that not Geto wants to, you know, project onto this current modern age when things are not the same. Back in the days of Heian, I guess cursed, cursed energy was just straight up just optimized. But like, I don't really understand how. Like, what is the envision of the world of Heian really is? So good. This piano song so fucking good. And then cuts out. Hey, look, it's Sid's I'm Atomic Hole right there. Do you see it, guys? Did we just off screen the rest of the fight? Did, did you, did, did, did Toto Aoi Sensei just show up saving us from everything only for her to get fucking off screen? I mean, then again, like, with not get to gone, Uraume, you know, Sukuna's fanboy made gone. We're just fighting random, you know, curses, right? I, I guess it's not that big a deal, but I wanted to see Yuki fight. I, I, this is it? Surely there's more, right? It's the finale after all. But then again, that, that outro, that exit from Not Ghetto, that shit was fire. Bald! 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 Fake news! Fake news! God damn it, woman, I'm fucking busting my ass off and you're fucking leaving me and giving me frozen dinner. This is fucked up. You should divorce her. This is like Japanese government. Bunch of monkeys. It's just the fucking monkeys here. 
Oh yeah, this is remember the fucking Japanese currency is about to drop because of the disaster that's about to happen. That's why Mei Mei went to fucking uh Malaysia and she just fucking cashed out on all her fucking Japanese stonks, right? And she was talking to her informant at that time, saying you should cash out right now. The yen, the value of yen is about to fucking go to nothing. Get out of here. Japan's about to be fucking doomed unless we save the day. But who's gonna save the day? Oh, they're about to die on camera. They're about to die on TV. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh you dead. Monkeys are dying. Monkeys are dying on national TV. Cameraman, you about to die too. The camera's about to fucking zip. Exactly. This is this is the most cliche shit that happens in like horror movies or something. The cameraman's like, what just happened? And then the camera tilts and goes and then it goes, it fades to that fucking the the RGB color screen. Look at this shit. Oh, what happened? The camera fucking and goes to this. And then, uh, technical intermission, and then boom! Please wait a moment while we play this classical music to assure you that nothing is going wrong. Nah, y'all are gonna die. All you monkeys are gonna die. You guys are so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it'll be so soon! Wait! <laughs> oh! Who is it? Oh, that was CGI there. Don't know, because it's shaded, don't think I didn't realize that these are CGI right now. Okay, it's, it's a child monkey eating convenience food. Look at this. Fucking savages eating with their fucking hands. Actual monkeys. This kid's gonna die. This is what you get for shoplifting, kid. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm just waiting for a curse spirit to just kill her right now. This is what you get for shoplifting, kid. Are you ready? Oh, 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 oh don't go there. Nah, surely. If, if you listen to this, you you deserve to die. Not only did you shoplift at the fucking 7-Eleven, you're gonna listen to this right now? You deserve this. You deserve this. You know what? Go to the warm bath. Go do it. See if I care. Oh! What kind of songs can you sing for me? I got some candy here, kid. A nice warm bath. Your mom did. I killed her. Wow, they're all in the bath? Stop the cap! Hold up! Yeah, fuck my teacher! Kid, you need to get out. Kid, don't... She deserves this. I don't care if she's a kid. I don't care if she's a kid, bro. <gasps> How the fuck do you think this is okay to walk towards? Kids are actually so fucking dumb. Nobody save this kid right now. I don't care. Just let her die. I'll be upset if someone saves her. You deserve this. You deserve this. All right, who's going to save her? Who's going to save her? Oh, okay, it's too slow motion. Someone's going to step in. Who? Oh! This is not suit. Wait for the... Oh! I thought he was with Miguel. Wait! Sword! White! Ah! Yuta is back! Oh my god! Bro, remember last episode? When Miwas just got fucking ulted by Ghetto? Fucking Uzumaki, right? And then, who saves her? Some guy with a sword and a white shirt shows up, and people are like, Is that Yuta? Did Yuta show up? And then it's like, Nah, sorry, it's the suit guy. People are like, No! Yuta finally- I thought he was in fucking Africa or training with Miguel. Damn. Damn, dude. How did this white- The hero is finally here. Finally! Someone that I can actually trust and believe in. Was this always his voice actor? Am I crazy or does this sound weird? Maybe it's been a long time since the movie that I watched. Behind ya. Behind ya. Easy. Bro doesn't even have to look. Don't look. Don't look, kid. Okay, the kid can see it, but that's crazy. Yuta didn't even look. That was a no look this like attack. And then she looks at the girl to make sure she doesn't see what just happened, covers her vision. This guy is so fucking smooth. Rika-chan! Rika but I thought Rika in the movie was like went away and like and, and and that's where this is the thing I was confused about in the movie. Because Yuta was super strong because of Rika-chan. But in the movie at the end, Rika-chan was like, didn't she? get freed or something i forget the exact details but it was like oh rika can now live in peace and now yuta must find his own way of fighting without relying on rika chan i think that was the movie ending maybe i'm wrong but that was rika that was rika rika chan she back she back she back okay she back this is yuki talking who are you talking to 
She is pretty enigmatic. I don't really. Yuki is very mysterious to me still. Tengen. And like this Tengen Sama guy after the first arc in Jujutsu Kaisen season two, right? With the flashback stuff of, you know, Tengen's vessel and stuff. After that girl got killed, we kind of forgot about Tengen Sama. Now suddenly he's being mentioned again. So he's obviously someone really important, but I thought, I don't know. Cause like she's like she's gonna confront Tengen like, like he's an actual person I don't know she's always showing her ass though I see it tall girl big ass that's you me Yuta what are you gonna do this is the upper echelon of the Jujutsu Council right it's gotta be these people are very mysterious to me too Pat he Yuji are we are, 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 are. I will kill Yuji Itadori. So, Gojo, you know how he plays defense for Yuji all the time because he truly believes? But Yuta, another senpai, nah, not at all. Bro is actually completely fine with the higher ups. Gojo usually shit talks every higher up here saying, shut the fuck up, you boomers. I'm coming for your heads. But right now, Yuta's like, forge a pack with me, whatever you want. And it almost sounds like he just said, killing cursed spirits is not enough to, I don't know, absolve you of whatever, you know, problems that you've caused. So this is really interesting dialogue. Look at that. No amount of killing cursed spirits will prove anything. So in order for Yuta to like clear his name from whatever trouble that he's had, right? He has to kill Yuji to prove to the boomers. Unless Yuta is lying right now. I hope that Yuta is on her side. This is a character that's been super hyped up since the Jujutsu Kaisen movie. In season one, even Toto Aoi speaks of this Yuta guy. But everyone's like, who is this guy? And whenever T Gojo was talking to the Tokyo Kyoto head, the boomer, he, whenever he mentioned like the next new talents, the most like important people, it was like um, Gojo was there, fucking, I, I don't know. I, I think Geto was there. Yuta too, right? He's a very important character. Someone that I can actually have confidence to trust in. But this dude right now, seemingly, he's not on our side. And you can't break pacts either, right? You have to... You can break a pact, but it comes out of incredible punishment, right? It's... You, you'd be stupid to break a pact, but let's see. Forge a pact or whatever you need to. Also, I know I'm getting off track here. Miwa, last episode, when she said, even if this is the last time I'll ever draw a blade, that was a verbal pact at that moment. So she wasted a pact. She can never draw a blade again against, uh, what's his name? Not Geto. I, I don't, can she never use a sword again? I'm not really sure how that works, but people are saying, yo, that was a pact at that moment. That's Kuna did that. Those eyes tell me he's serious, dude. Those eyes told me he's serious about this. Notice from Jujutsu headquarters, Suguru Geto's survival was confirmed. We hereby declare the reinstatement of his death sentence. But like, they're fucking dumb. They don't know it's get not Ghetto, you know? Gojo Satoru has been deemed an accomplice in the Shibuya incident and he's hereby expelled from the Jujutsu so What the fuck? The one person you placed utmost faith in, someone that risked his life and got sealed away, they're throwing him aside. Straight up, Gojo Satoru is a fucking traitor. In addition, any attempt to free him from his seal will be deemed a crime. Yo, straight up, the Jujutsu Boomers, the executive council, the execs right now, they are power tripping. They decided, you know what? Gojo is a fucking pain in the ass. This is a good opportunity to get rid of him. They are using Gojo as a scapegoat. What the fuck? Three, Masamichi Yaga, our principal, is sentenced to death? For inciting Satoru Gojo and Suguru Geto causing the Shiba incident. Yo, shit like this is why I say I'm on the fucking Team Geto, fuck the monkeys, fuck like the good side. Straight up, who are the good guys? This, these boomers that are hiding behind the screens making all these orders, we should have killed them all in the beginning. This is a load of bullshit. Jujutsu HQ is incredibly corrupt, yeah. And the sad thing is, it's seemingly Yuta is also kind of just working alongside. Hopefully, I'll understand in the future that maybe Yuta is lying to them, and maybe Yuta is actually on our side, and maybe we will band together. Yuta and Yuji will fucking band together and save Gojo in the next arc and free them, and we'll declare war on the Jujutsu HQ. But at the same time, we will be able to revamp the system and throw out the fucking boomers behind the panels and free up the corruption in the HQ. But then again, knowing this show, happy stuff like that doesn't happen. The suspension on Yuji Itadori's death sentence is hereby revoked, and his execution shall be carried out promptly. Bro, you cannot end the fucking season finale with this. Please, please, I, I need to see this.
I need to see this. Special Grace Sorcerer, Yuta Okotsu, shall be appointed as Yuji Itadori's executioner. If this is like a public sentence, if Yuji is like held down somewhere and Yuta's the one with the source tracking him down, I hope there's a cool moment where Yuta's like, psych, and he saves everyone and we run out and we're like, ha, Yuta was always on our side from the beginning. I have a little bit of hope that he will do that. I'm Atomic again by Sid. I know it's Kuna that did it. I guess this episode, they needed to pass some minutes in. They're like, if we couldn't fit the quota of the episode, we gotta fucking make this guy walk with a flashlight for fucking five minutes. Yuji, Yuji, you have a forehead. Huh? got a cool scar now and a mark on the mouth boogie woogie no imagine he inherited boogie woogie what does that mean what does that mean wait broken clapping control of the curses how how what do you mean i so, Yuji has new powers. Maybe this has been hinted by whatever that's happened in the episode. You gotta, I gotta wait. Is, is this something that I can, like, I don't know, um, understand based off of what we've seen so far? But what would have caused Yuji to get new powers? I have no fucking clue, but bro, this is some... Um, this, this, he can control them. He, he can control them. Bro is just like, these curse spirits are my minions now. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Shibu incident, gate, closed. And ladies and gentlemen, with that... It is the end of the Shibuya incident. We witnessed this live. It happened. God damn. This is some fucking peak back to back to back to back to. I don't even know. This is like a 25. I don't know how long this episode was, but it was the season was, but it was more than 12 episodes, right? This is a long, non split core, non stop action. So much fucking fun. So much shit happened. A lot of heartaches, a lot of grievances. Narami, done. Nobara. 1% chance! Technically, her eyeball popped up! Maybe she's alive! Megumi, I think Fushiguro Megumi will be okay as long as he's useful to Skuna's overall endgame plot. And until then, I doubt Skuna's ever gonna get rid of Megumi. Who else is there? I believe there was... Um... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Who, who else was really cool? Fushiguro Koji. Toji was fucking sick, right? Toji not only was he involved in the first half of the, uh, the season, he was so cool. Bro did so much prep work killed Gojo, but he didn't actually, and Gojo came back, got high, started saying some shit like, I am the chosen one, defeated Toji, that was sick. And then we lead into Mechamaru stuff, right? Mech oh, even before that, with like, like uh, Ghetto and Gojo's, like their understanding of um, society, their ideals. Gojo was saying, yo, fuck the monkeys in the beginning and go, and Ghetto was like, nah, you gotta protect the monkeys. And then suddenly with enough death, Ghetto's mind starts to deteriorate. The more curses he feeds on, he starts to realize, fuck them monkeys. And then the best friends become enemies. And it's sad, man. It's sad. And the movie, pretty much, you know, Ghetto was dead. He died. But Somebody took over his brain, this ancient sorcerer, someone that knows Skuna, someone from the Heian period, the peak, the golden age of Jujutsu. He wants to optimize it, right? That was some cool shit. We finally understand, you know, exactly how Ghetto turned into not Ghetto. Well, not that, but we understand, like, what happened between Gojo and Ghetto's breakup best friends. We go into Mechamaru, bro. Mechamaru, fucking Gundam shit. That was pretty cool. You know, he held off Maito by himself. And speaking of Maito, this dude's kill death ratio is fucking insane. How many people has Maito taken out since season one? Bro is actually goaded. And speaking of other teammates from the, the evil side, right? Joe Goat. Joe Goat was so fucking good. He might have fucked up Maki, the Zenin clan. You know, what's what's his name? Uh, uh, Nanami too, right? But I think Maki may come back with a cool design. Maybe she got a new scar, right? We don't really have any confirmation to Maki or Zenin clan leader, but I'm sure they might be still alive. Nanami. Salute, one of my favorite characters. This dude was the most relatable guy to me by far. I actually cried for him. Very rare that I cry in anime. Nanami, I actually cried for him, bro. Jogo, though, it was so fucking quick how he just went everywhere. Boom, 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 boom. Just fire, 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 fire. And the dude fucking releases Skuna. The dude fucking makes a bet against Skuna. Hey, I don't want anything. But it's like, challenge me to a duel like if, if you accept my challenge like i'll let you do anything and juggle was like let's fucking go nah i'd win the strongest curse joe goat versus the king of curses man that fight was so good i was emotional on mechamaru too it, it was it was less about mechamaru and more about miwa right i don't 
really care that much about Mechamoto as a person, but the way that he was like reminiscing about Miwa and how he finally got a new body, and he's like, damn, maybe my unrequited love can finally be accomplished. But it's like, no, he's about to die! And the train scene later when he was talking with Mia, that she was actually sad, man. But Jogo versus Skuna, that fight was insane. Perhaps one of my favorite moments was the King of Curses, Jogo. <laughs> fucking summoning Supreme Arts Meteor, right? And Skuna's like, hold up. I'm gonna have some fun with this. Runs over to a bunch of dudes fighting. He just says, nobody fucking move. Nobody move until I say so. And as the meteor's about to land in a couple seconds, it's like, all right, you can go. That might've been one of the funnest, one of the most exciting anticipated moments from this guy's for me, man. Bro, that shit was so good. And after it's gonna waste everybody, yeah, you get to see Yuji's like realization that holy shit, I did all this, huh? Yeah, you did. You're a fucking monster, Yuji. Not really, but the mental damage and like the deterioration of Yuji's mental health as he realizes what he's done, that actually is quite in fact impactful. I can't really say that I can relate to him or I, I feel like sad for him, but I can be like, yeah, that kind of sucks for him, right? And after Skuna, what happens, bro? Fushiguro Megumi finally, after the fight with Toji, where Toji asked, remember, Toji was straight up like, so kid, what's your last name? Zenin or Fushiguro? And, and, and Megumi was like, uh, Fushiguro. And Toji was like, you know, I might have not been there for you when you were growing up, but that's all because I care about you. You know, all the gambling, all the other degenerate shit I do. I can't, you know, I can't let that my life, you know, impact you. So I'm going to, you know, neglect you in a very loving way. At the end, he killed himself after he realized that Fushiguro Megumi took on the name Fushiguro and not Zenin. Toji, God bless this man. What a fucking anomaly, bro. This guy is so cool. He not only did he show up in the first arc, but the second arc too. Fucking defeated Dagon. Remember, he just saved everybody. That shit was so fucking cool, dude. And then what happened? Toji? No, Megumi? And if you look at season one, there's a lot of moments in season one when Megumi straight up, he's like, is it time? Is it time to fucking summon Makura? During the fight against Toto, Aoi, remember? When Toto said, what's your ideal woman? And Megumi was like, uh, anyone's fine. And Toto was like, that's a bullshit answer. And we started fighting. Go back. Megumi for a split second said, is it time? Should I fucking do it? Bro was about to unleash a monster that was fucking rivaling Skuna onto Toto Aoi. That's fucked up, bro. Anytime a fly landed on Megumi, <laughs> Megumi was like, Makura? Makura? The Makura versus, you know, um... Skuna fight was cool because they kind of introduced the fact that Makura is a ancient being that rivaled the ancient uh, other Gojo descendant, whatever, right? Long time ago. That was like a really strong thing, though. They hyped it up like that. The fight was cool. The fight was cool. And then just when I think the incident is over. Nah, bro. We ain't done yet. We ain't done yet because we have some fight with Maito to do, right? So we got the big brother Choso that comes in. And I still don't really understand how Choso is a big brother. But it's pretty much confirmed that not Ghetto is Choso is somehow daddy. He impregnated, you know, because like Choso is like the stain on whatever clan he's in, right? The worst sorcerer ever had a baby with fucking, I, I don't know, with like some kind of curse. Some shit happened. And now we had fucking, you know, we got Choso. And somehow Choso's ability of being able to relate to other people if they're blood related like Yuji. You remember the spaghetti flashback? What the fuck was that? So somehow Ghetto, not, not Ghetto, might have fucked up. Or maybe knocked up uh, Yuji's mom. Or maybe not get to... Like, think about it. Is it just strictly males that he hosts? Or is it a woman that he could have done? There, it could have been a woman he took it on, dude. Not get to might have been, might have been Yuji's mom. I don't fucking know. That's the only way if it's blood related, right? I don't fucking know. Even if it's not blood related, it's the fact that it stems from not get to. That's the why Choso is able to like figure out or understand what the fuck happened here, right? So that's that. And then, Kyoto Squad, they're all dookie. I do love Toto Aoi. Toto Aoi's boogie woogie is done. But he's not dead. His hand got cut off, but he's not dead. That's what matters the most. I straight up thought he was going to actually die like Nanami. Thank fucking God he survived. Maki, tr sorry, Maki's sister, Mai, absolute trash. Broom girl, trash. Blood arts, you know, never opening his eyes. Arm guy, eh, eh. Miwa, goat, goatwa. Not Ghetto used Uzumaki. 
he just said how important the Supreme Arts is and he unleashes Uzumaki onto Gotwa because he was scared of Gotwa's potential. And Gotwa at that moment used new Shadow Style. And in fact, she even made a pack saying, even if this is the last time I'll ever draw my sword, I will end this right now. Technically, not get to clap it. Not get to just grab the blade. So all her pack just fucking wasted. But still, not get to recognize this goat was potential. Not me. Not get to even acknowledge the fact that damn, someone here knows new shadow style. Thanks for like. Uh, it's nice to see someone with some actual fucking brains around here. So Miwa absolutely fucking goaded. Then gets saved by Mr. Suit Guy, who is not Yuta. It was never Yuta, but it's so hilarious that people are like, <gasps> Yuta. You no, it's not Utah. Sorry, it's Utah from home. It's Walmart Utah. It is what it is, but you guys got Utah today. It is what it is. Skuna's fanboy made pretty cool too. Skuna's fanboy made can't help, you know, uh can't hurt Yuji either, right? Because Yuji is obviously like the host or some kind of vessel. And Skuna at the end of the day is really you know, focusing on Megumi. That's actually pretty cool. That's another really cool moment from Skuna was when um, Maito used domain expansion for a split second, inspired by Gojo, and he saw Skuna. And Maito was like, bro, bro, I, I, I promise. It was for a split second. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. We're cool, right? We're cool, right? And Skuna was like, you know what? My boy, you just probably have to clap your ass right now. So you do your thing. I don't care. And then Yuji fucking destroys Maito. But Maito's been doing like 1v10 the entire time. So is it really fair? I don't really know. But Yuji, bro, dude, he fucking willingly, in, like with intent, he released a Black Lightning. Some Sorry, Black Flash. Kokusen. This is something you can't do on demand. But bro actually did it. So that's kind of huge. Another huge feat. He went for the fucking donkey punch. He tried to fucking clap Maito's dick. And Maito gets swallowed by not Ghetto. Is it a poetic ending? That someone like Maito got swallowed by Ghetto to suffer forever. I hear that the suffering that he has to encounter because he got, I don't know, extracted like that is huge. I'm not really sure, but Maito lives along with not Ghetto. And finally, we got the finale. We're wrapping stuff up. Yuki showed up, right? Big girl, big ass. I don't really know what she's about, but she has her own ideals. She's really cool. She's one of the most important characters along with, let's say, like Yuta. I, I say Mei Mei too, right? It's pretty cool that like these other characters that are introduced but still we don't know the extent of how important they are that they're around so we can really anticipate for the future seasons as to what will happen yuta saving that monkey i thought i don't know i thought he wasn't i thought uh, him and miguel were training somewhere but finally seemingly okutsu yuta is finally back another man that again is so strong he had an entire fucking movie dedicated somehow Rico or Rika is still back. I thought Rika was exercising and was able to rest in peace, but nah, Rika is seemingly back. So it's like, all right, cool. I don't know how that works. And Yuji seemingly has new powers at the end. He just fucking went boogie woogie and fucking cursed spirits fucking showed up out of nowhere. If you think about it, it was a random human with a flashlight walking on the bridge and Yuji just like summoned some cursed spirits to attack them. I don't know if that's what's going on, but that's what it looked like, right? Pretty fucked up. Jujutsu HQ, corrupt as usual, using this opportunity to get rid of Gojo Satoru, blaming it everything on Gojo and the principal. If you try to help Gojo, you're fucking done. Isn't that so stupid? Like, because they're power tripping, because they want to hold on to their power and they're because they're afraid of Gojo, they're willing to let humanity be at risk by saying, you know what? If you try to save Gojo, you're fucked. So fucking dumb. I hope that. Oh, it was Yuji with the flashlight? Okay, never mind. So that was just like a scenic scene of just someone just walking and then just going like this then. It would have been funnier to me if he just fucking clapped on the random monkey with a flashlight. And the powers, I don't know how he got it. I don't know if there's enough in the anime to kind of like guess on what happened. But that is the Shibuya incident. What a fucking arc. I think this is like a definitive arc. If you think about like One Piece, there's like the Marine Ford arc or like Water 7, right? Or there's like any lobby, right? When you... Think about like uh, an anime, there is like an arc that's so distinctive, that is so iconic that everybody knows an anime for that arc. Shibuya Incident is exactly that for Jujutsu Kaisen, and I'm glad you guys are here with me live to witness it with me. Season 3 is announced, we'll check out the trailer and stuff like that when we when the news comes out. But that's it from me guys, thank you again for spending your precious time with me, but it's not over yet. Because, wait, no, 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 no. That's my stream outro reaction. I'm sorry, outro. This is where I say, if you're still here, if you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.